Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you find this particular video helpful, be sure to leave a like and a comment. Those really do help out the channel a ton. So today's product is available on Amazon, so be sure to check the link out in the description. That will take you to the product page where you can check out the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that fun information. Okay guys, so what is it? It is a high-powered race car by a company called Zelenio. This is the box it's gonna come in. It comes in the colors red and blue. Um, once you open up the box, you're gonna get a ton of parts and pieces. So let's go over that right now so you can get an idea of everything that comes with it. So first off, really importantly, you are gonna get an instruction manual that's gonna explain how to use everything that we're about to cover. Um, we're also gonna take this outside so you can see it actually working in action. Um, but yeah, so in the back here too, I wanted to point out, there is a little diagram that shows how everything goes together, which I thought was really cool. Um, that points all that out. Then you are going to get in this bag right here, a little screwdriver and some additional parts and pieces in case something gets damaged and you need to replace anything. Uh, so it includes that. Now in this second bag right here, this is basically a spare bumper, or I shouldn't say necessarily spare, a different type of rear bumper uh, that has a heads up, which gives it some wheels. Uh, so where that is installed, let me show you the car here. Um, it's installed along the back here. So if it goes up, it's gonna be able to have those wheels. You can choose to have those on there or not. It's up to you whether you want to install that. Um, in addition to that, you are going to get the battery with the USB charging cable, it will turn red to green, so let you know that it is fully charged. You're gonna get about 15 minutes of race time out of this. Now that's gonna depend on how fast you're going and all that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, so that gives you an idea. As you can see, it is a 1600 mAh battery right there. Then you are going to get the remote control right here. As you can see, it fits very nicely in the hand. Your finger easily goes in the trigger button. You have on the bottom here, the compartment for three AA batteries. The batteries are not included for this. And then on the front, you have a nice little wheel here. Um, you have the power button that you press and it will turn it on. And then you have right here the forward or reverse button, depending on how you want to control it. And then there's on this side is an H or an L. And those basically determine the max speed if you want to go fast or slower. And then you have these little baby dials here, which basically adjust kind of the steering wheel trim and uh, kind of the directions and stuff like that. So this gives you more, lots of fine tuning and everything like that. And, once again, like I said, we're gonna take this outside so you can see it in action. Now, I do wanna point out the remote control is a 2.4 gigahertz, um, so it has a super long range. I have not been able to test this length, but according to them, that can go basically 295 feet to 328 feet. Now, I do wanna point out that the distance is gonna be like optimal distance in like a field. If you're in a more urban environment with other signals, with trees, all that, you're not going to get that far of a distance, but let's be honest, 300 feet, I mean, that's really, really far. So you're going to be able to have this um, where you're kind of using it and play with it, and basically it's saying, hey, you're not going to lose um, signal to the remote control very easily. Um, now let's go over the car itself. So here is the car itself. Uh, overall size, it is 12 and a, approximately 12 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches by five um, and three quarter inches tall. Uh, that's kind of the rough estimate of when I was measuring it out. There is a plastic covering over the, the car itself, the plastic piece here, so be sure to remove that. Uh, you may not notice it, uh, but yeah, just kind of peel away the corner and slide it off. Now, as you can see, it has these awesome metal shock absorbers, um, which is really great for off-roading. Let me take off the cover here so you can kind of see it. Um, yeah, so right here, you can see these awesome metal shock absorbers. Uh, you can see the twin motors right there, uh, which makes it great for off-roading. Uh, the tires are nice, thick rubber tires. 
um, which means it's not gonna, they're not gonna get stuck or anything like that. You can see the big, nice and grooves here, so they're nice anti-slip design. Uh, this thing can go 45 degrees. So if you're going up a big hill or something like that, it can do that, it has enough power to do that. Um, and then uh, you can see you have the front bumpers right here with two little LED lights. And then on the back here, you got the back bumper where you can install that um, other part if you so desire. Uh, now, as far as the battery, let's go over that. So the battery, basically, um, you're gonna plug in. So right there, this is where you plug it in to charge it up. But this red piece is where you're gonna plug it in to um, actually use it. And so it goes right here in the compartment. There's only one way to plug it in. So you're just gonna slide that in like so. And then you wanna make sure that it's tucked away in the compartment where you're not pinching any cables or anything like that. So let me kind of get this in position here. There we go. And then there is this little battery cover that you will just slide on like so and it'll snap close and then they include this little slab i just kind of slid it off to the side but they include this strap right there that makes sure the battery will not pop open and it'll stay nice and secure so this is the overall frame there's the bottom there's the top um and then once you have done that you can put on the top part. Now, this does have, this car does have an IPX4 rating, so it can get wet. So if you drive it through a puddle or something like that, that is totally cool. Um, it is not designed to be submerged or anything like that. So uh, no driving it into the lake. Now, there's these little pieces here. This is what's gonna secure the plastic top. Um, they include some spare ones in case that you lose them, but uh, there's basically holes on these little rubber pieces here and you just slide this in to keep it nice and secure. When removing it to um, basically take and recharge the battery, I find it's easy to just grab a pair of pliers and pull them off. I mean, you can pull them off with your bare hands, um, but to get a nice grip sometimes, it's just easy to grab a pair of pliers. But yeah, so that is kind of the ins and outs of this guy. So let's go ahead and take it outside and let you guys see how it does. There you have it. Now you've seen it in action. It does go super, super fast, uh, 30 plus miles an hour. Um, and these metal shock absorbers are pretty, pretty awesome. And then, like I said, I pointed out earlier, it has these bumpers on here to protect it. Um, you can't really see it, uh, but it had the two little headlights here on the front. So if you're driving around at night, you can kind of see, which is kind of cool. Um, and then these tires are nice, solid rubber, which keep them from sliding around. Uh, but yeah, that is basically the ins and outs of this awesome race car. If you have questions and there's something I didn't cover, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. So, And then be sure to check out the link in the description so you can see the current price point and all that fun information. But that is basically it. So until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.